Hey guys, it's Stu from Skull Gaming Network. Welcome to another MLB Perfect Inning 2018 video. And today we have this week's maintenance and update guide, along with a couple MLB Perfect Inning 2018 live stream related announcements at the end of this video. So we'll get into things starting with the maintenance itself, which starts at 7 p.m. Pacific or 10 p.m. Eastern. It is scheduled to last for five hours, so until midnight Pacific or 3 a.m. Eastern, during which time you can't play the game. As for the specific details, we're getting quite a bit in this new update. Number one, they're adding new special edition high class drafts or players. I am honestly rather confused, having actually read through this in advance, which I normally don't do, but I had to just to try to understand what's going on. But I'll explain it to you the best I can. It looks like there's players from the main roster of active players for each team, although some of these players are on teams they used to be on but are not currently on. And then it says, in addition, SE high class cards will change their stats, including team performance for that year when the regular season ends each year. I am really confused about that. And then as we start to look at the players, there's a lot of them, so I'm not going to look at each one individually, but here. If you look at the Diamondbacks, A.J. Pollock, 2007, David Peralta, 2005, Jake Lamb, 2005, Gene Segura, 2001, Justin Upton, 2006, Miguel Montero, 2009, Nick Ahmed, 2005, Paul Goldschmidt, 2008. Some of these guys weren't even in the major leagues, not even in a minor league system on some of these years. So it's really strange seeing these different years because I don't know why. Like Miguel Cabrera, 2011 Detroit Tigers, might be one of the only cards that actually corresponds to when they were on the team. I know Eddie Rosario has not been in the twin system since 2004. I know Eduardo Nunez hasn't been in the twin system since 2003. Yeah, I guess if anyone knows what these years mean, just let me know. If I figure out what they mean, I'll let you know, but it's really confusing. Each team's getting like eight batters, and it seems like six pitchers roughly now. Some of those numbers might not be completely accurate. Some teams might get more or less. But I don't think that's the case. There's a lot of new players being added. All of them seem to be in the 85 to like 91 range. I haven't seen any 92s, but there might be one or two. That being said, we are getting Legend Player Batch 6, which will be four pitchers and six batters. Pitchers will be Bob Feller, Oral Hershiser, Dave Steeb or Steib, and then Rick Aguilera. The batters will be George Brett. Bobby Gritch, Edgar Martinez, Johnny Bench, Toby Hara, and Billy Williams. I'm honestly more excited about the batters than the pitchers. There are some good legends being added to the game just in general. There's the list of all the players required. I'll link this page in the description of the video so you guys can see all the players for yourselves. We're getting a new October monthly calendar with slightly different rewards. No legend contract for the month of October. And then the current event ends and the new event starts. We'll get to the new event. And here we go. The new event is the playoff push event. Goes for one week. To start things off, there's a daily login event plus seven consecutive day login bonus. Specifically, Thursday. You get an 88 plus draft. Friday, 100 mil GP. Saturday, 100 complete tickets. Sunday, a live SE draft. Monday, 200 diamonds. Tuesday, 200 mil GP. And Wednesday is a live SE special emblem draft. Then for logging in all seven days, you get three A grade trainers. That's not too bad, in my opinion. I like it quite a bit. Event number two, diamond draft sale. So for the whole week, any drafts that you can purchase with diamonds will be 80% off. So you can get a platinum draft for 200 diamonds, which would normally be 1,000 diamonds. That's just one example. I might do some pack openings with these if you guys want to see that. I think it would be fun. 
Not going to guarantee it, but I think there's a pretty good chance that I will, at least a little bit, because I've got like 22,000 diamonds on my main account, so why not? Event number three, 50% off the cost to reset training, so five diamonds instead of 10. Event number four, trainer boosts are doubled, so C grade's worth 4% instead of 2, B grade 20% instead of 10. A grade 40% instead of 20, and S grade just stays at 100 because 200% isn't practical. There's also the 30% off boost player event, where the cost of materials used to boost players is reduced by 30%. So a player that would cost a billion coins to boost will only cost 700 million. If they would cast 100 million to boost, they'll only cost 70 million to boost. Stuff like that. And then event six, the weekend buyout they'll bring back this weekend from 8 a.m friday until 7 59 a.m sunday that's pacific time so that would be like 11 a.m eastern time until 10 59 a.m eastern time on those days and this week the buyout is being lowered from 95 percent to 70 percent so you'll get 30 percent instead of five percent you get six times as many coins which still isn't great but if you really can't sell a player and you don't want to use them for boost material, there you go. But yeah, that's about it for this event guide. As for live stream announcements, number one, I am going to do a live stream tonight from 8.30 p.m. Eastern until maintenance starts. During that live stream, I will be boosting Twins players up to plus 10 using duplicate boosting materials as much as I can. I won't be doing gameplay... It will be strictly trying to boost Twins players that I don't have and need for my plus 10 Twins team. But you're welcome to join the stream. We can chat, hang out. You guys can see how I boost those players to plus 10 in a live setting, you know, where I'm actually doing the boosting in front of you. And then the team review stream last Saturday was a lot of fun. I said for sure by this video, I would announce when I'm doing another one of those. I will be doing another team review live stream this Sunday. Preliminarily, I'm planning to start that stream at 3 p.m. Eastern, which I believe is right around the time that all the baseball games that day are starting. I'll probably be able to do that stream for a couple hours. Last time I could only do an hour, which got a little bit longer, but I'll plan on up to, let's say, two and a half hours if there's enough interest in that. Yeah, that just about does it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, getting the update info the new event info. Hopefully some of you are looking forward to the live streams too. If you enjoyed any of that, I encourage you to leave a like. If you're new around here, subscribe for more MLB Perfect Inning 2018 content. In the comments, let me know your thoughts on this event. What do you think the years mean on these new cards? I honestly don't know because it's not like these seasons go back in time. So having a player from 2005 doesn't seem to make much sense. But hopefully we'll see soon enough what that actually means. That's going to do it for now, though, guys. I'm G from Skull Gaming Network. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, and as always, peace out.